Hey everybody, Boston Bruce here, Operation RCT. Uh, we're in January of 1942, turn 12 to KMT in the U.S. There's a look at the bank. I'm sure it won't be there after uh, Germany goes. Brits will lose them all cash. There's a look at my tech charts. Let me know if it's all right. Hope they don't have anybody wrong. Let's get into the KMT. They have $3 to spend. They're not buying anything, and they're going to save their three. So they'll have uh, six for next turn. I'll do a quick recap of what they have because they got no movements at all. Still the same militia. One, two, four. And Kwong Tung, 19, uh, yeah, Kwong Tung, 19 infantry, 8 artillery, 4 triple A, 3 cavalry, 3 mountain, 5 militia, and 19 regular infantry. All right, let's do the U.S. Couple buys laid out with $75. Uh, if we hit large ships, if we don't. So, let's get to it. We're going for radar. Radar factories and airborne at sevens. Uh, subs and large ship at eight. And then bombers and rockets at nines. So, got my dice here. Hopefully, uh, we can get the large ships. Because that's what we really need. Oh, baby. That's all I was looking at is the blue. Oh, wow. I think we might only miss one, too. Uh, red six is no good. Uh, green nine, two green nines, ugly green nine, regular green nine. So we got subs and, uh, what is that? Airborne. Since we don't even have a airborne on the board, I believe. Anyway, that's a nine. Uh, two tens. Oh man, I'm glad that eight came in. Oh, that's a beautiful tech. Missed only on rockets, I think. Eight and eleven. Yep, the only one we missed on was rockets. Six for seven. Incredible. Uh, all right, so what's my keys here? Uh, radar goes to two. Uh, the factories, factories. Factories goes to two. M1 goes to two. Subs goes to two. Large ship we finish. And bombers goes to two. All right. That's fucking great. All right. Uh, all right. So we're not doing this now. Let's just get this medium bomber out of here. And these regular battleships. And this sub. Okay. So this is 35. All right, so we got 75 to spend. All right, so that's actually 20 now. Uh, we're going to move two battleships from stage three to two, two regulars for 10. We're going to finish two regular battleships for 10. That's 20. We're going to start five heavy battleships for 30. So that's 50. We're going to start a heavy fleet carrier for five. That's uh, 55. We're going to buy a fighter for 10. And a sub for 5. And an advanced artillery for 4. Yeah. So 4, 5, 9. We'll save a dollar. Save one buck. Hopefully I'll remember that. All right, we do actually have some combat moves. All right, over here. And 821, we're going to take our jet out of southern England, try and hit a sub. Hopefully, hopefully we hit a sub. Um, no combat in the Pacific. Not quite ready to go meet up with the Japanese. But I think the Americans can handle the Vichy. So, we're going to declare war on the Vichy. 
And I asked Hambone if he wished to scramble that Italian fighter over into the zone in the coastal sub if they wanted to engage the Americans, and he said no. So, Pete kind of wanted me to hit that sub, but I, I changed my mind on that one. So, anyway, uh, let's see how we're going to do this. This medium bomber comes out of Gibraltar, one, two. Coming off the carrier will be a fighter and a tactical only one space. Coming out of port in Gibraltar will be a battleship. And two transports carrying on the regular transport will be a infantry. He'll get off in French Morocco. Another infantry will get off in Tunisia. So those are walk-ons. And then getting off in northern Algeria will be a marine in a artillery, as General Patton has landed. All right, so we got three aircraft. Uh, oh, and the heavy cruiser and the battleship will bombard. Yep, yeah, hopefully I don't mess this up. And that is all the combat moves. Yep. Yeah. We got the sub up there, and then we got this over here. So, right away we'll take two off the Vichy. So, we'll go up two. Uh, back up to 63. Vichy go down to two. All right, we're going to need some dice. All right, let's do the sub first, the jet. I don't even remember what a jet attacks at. Eight or ten? Eight. Uh, I should use the, the tech dice because they, they uh, rolled high. They do the roll low. That's a seven. Oh, we just barely got it. So we kill a sub. I think Ham Mono choose to lose the advanced sub. Myself, I would pick the regular sub. Alright. So, we got rid of another sub. Now, in... Northern Algeria, I'll have a, a Bombay with a battleship at 4, a heavy cruiser at 2, and a first strike with the artillery at 2. So, I'll have 1 at 4 and... Two at two. One at four. Two at two. One at four. Oop, there's a hit with the battleship. So we got one first strike. And then we got a medium bomb and a tactical, so that don't matter. Four, three, so each get one uh Foreign Legion firing back, and a seven, and he misses. Okay, so we take uh, Northern Algeria without a casualty. And the U.S. goes up another dollar to 64. These sheets are down to one. Uh, the two planes will land back on the carriers. Let's see, you know what? Let me think about Well, anyway, yeah. the medium bomber will go back to Gibraltar. Uh... Let's see, the transports can go in port, as it was an amphibious assault. So, uh, we get an import marker. I should have thought about that. We can't go in port in Gibraltar. So, oh man, what did I just knock off? What's that two damage right there? 
Oh, maybe that was on the coin, wasn't it? Mm, I don't remember now. All right, so anyway, the battleship, the heavy cruiser, and the transport will go in port. Actually, just the transports will go in port. The uh, tactical and the fighter land back on the carrier. <coughs> uh, the jet lands back in southern England. He has to. He only got range of one. Uh, let's see. Coming from Washington on a regular transport will be two infantry, and they'll go in port in Puerto Rico. Uh, gonna get some more import markers out here. Two plane in Puerto Rico will come one, two into A forty five, three into forty seven, four into forty eight. Five land in Sierra Leone. We got to go after this MVP. This guy, I mean, he's probably caused, uh, I don't know, probably 15 points of damage down there, I think, if I can guess. I think he's closed that line every turn he's raided. Uh, these two coastal subs have come over one to A46. Uh, my strategic naval move. Will be from Washington, uh, one into thirty one, two into thirty three, four into thirty five, five into a forty four. Drop off a of marine and infantry, and go in port in Gibraltar. I think that's it on this side. Yeah, two transports will be in port. There's a port strike. He could attack those, but he has to fly over that. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, he has to fly over and engage. Okay. Uh, we're good there. Yeah, we're good there. Nice to see Pat in Africa. Overseeing things. All right, so that's good over there. Nothing else. All right, on this side of the map. Coming from P24, two subs will go over to Hawaii, P29. That's the coastals. Uh, we got a carrier. In a battleship in San Francisco Harbor. I'm going to go one, two, three over to Midway. Uh, let's use this one for Midway. Up there, too. Let's see, nothing's in port. Yeah. This transport in San Francisco will grab two infantry, go one, two, three over to Midway. He'll go in port with the. Attack transport. Uh, actually, the regular transport is there, so I'm going to leave that one there. That's good. Uh, this battleship in P-76 is going to come 1-2, go in port in Hawaii. Oh, God, I almost forgot that destroyer up there. <laughs> Pete would have had a new name for that. <laughs> 
Thank God, I seen it. I almost didn't see it. Let's see, where do we want to go with it? Uh, one into P9, two into P10, three into P19. Yeah, P19 is a good spot. Let's see, there's only a transport left there, so there's no reason to uh, move him. Okay, we're going to place our advanced... Uh, oh, did I do my whole buy? Yeah, I did. I saved the ball. Uh, advanced artillery in San Francisco. Uh, we're going to place two battleships. We're going to move two battleships down to stage two. So these two go here. Thank God, I didn't want to build... Four more, five, six more regular little battle, regular battleships. Uh, the fight is going in San Francisco. Actually, you know, I got time. This fight is going in London. I think we have Trump capitalism, I find. I would think. Even though I need some fighters for my planes for my carriers. Uh, let me double check quick. Uh, yeah, even though the Brits are going to lose all their money, uh, they have it at this time. So that's 108 against 40, 50 even. doesn't matter. We're way ahead. Uh, all right, the sub will go in midway. Might as well put him in port too because we got a sub base. Okay. And now we place on stage three to respond to the two Japanese heavy battleships and one on the board, five of our own, along with a heavy fleet carrier. So, I believe that is it. Now we're going to need some other kinds of units. So we saved the buck. Uh, save the buck, we're at 64, that's 65 plus 1277. I think for next turn, and KMT has six. Come on. I always take that cap off, and then I can't put it on. All right, uh... Quick recap. It's not on this side because we're here. All right. D. San Francisco has a advanced artillery and a regular transport import and two regular battleships in P-25. Hawaii has a battleship in port. Uh, there's two subs in, coastal subs in P-29. And P... 22 in Midway, I have a submarine in port, uh, two regular transports, one attack transport, uh, three regular battleships, two fleet carriers, uh, yeah, two fleet carriers with a fighter and a tactical, one heavy cruiser, three destroyers, one destroyer in P-19. On Midway itself, I should straighten this out. This is getting to be a lot. Put Nimitz back in Hawaii. I don't get them mixed up. All right. And in Midway, eight infantry, one Marine, one light armor, one triple A. Uh, a Tuka Kiss of Midway, wake a. Wake a Militia. Uh, yeah, two kiss was a militia. And that's it on this side of the board. Uh, on the bill queue, five heavy battleships, one heavy fleet carrier at stage three, a heavy cruiser in, at stage two, along with an air base under construction, and two regular battleships. The Japanese have two light carriers, and the Brits have a heavy cruiser. But that's it. All right, on this side, Sierra Leone has a seaplane. 
uh, A46, two coastal subs. Puerto Rico has a transport import, two infantry. Uh, Gibraltar has three destroyers in port, one marine, one infantry, one medium bomber, one transport in port, and actually, only got four units here. I want to send him back. One, he's already in here, so. Yeah, he's got this. This transport in Gibraltar is going back to Puerto Rico. So in Puerto Rico, there's two transports in port and uh, two infantry. Uh, what else we got? Morocco, one infantry. Northern Algeria, marine and artillery. Tunisia, an infantry. Uh, Gibraltar is that medium bomber. Uh, sea Zone M2 has a battleship, heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, two destroyers, a uh, tactical and a fighter. And actually, you don't want anything. I'm going to move one more destroyer out here. Actually, I think I'm going to move. Yeah. They got one there, one there. Yeah, and I can use those two destroyers to attack subs. All right, yep, yeah, so that's good. So two destroyers in port in Gibraltar. Uh, three destroyers, two light cruisers, battleship heavy cruiser, French sub, fleet carrier with a fighter and a tactical. In England, I have a fighter and a jet in southern England. Uh, two militia in you know East Coast, one in New York, one in Washington. And I think I got everything uh, that's it. We'll be turning it over to Hamburg for Germany. Uh, I don't know if he's going to continue bombing up there. Probably. I mean, Stalingrad's probably on oh no, old Moscow factory. Leningrad's got seven. Basically, your old curse is done. 18 or 19, 16 on that factory. So I don't think you're going to see much happening uh, as far as bombing over there. All right, Boston Bruce signing out.